people, and welcome back to part 56 of Palavan, Alvin Over City's Skylines build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for all support on Sunday's live stream. Uh, we had a really nice time putting together a little farmland here on the outskirts of Clawson. It came together quite nicely, lots of very specific asset placement with the slaughterhouse, uh, the flour mill as well, and some regular farming industry assets. And then also some repeated greenhouse spice with the fruit fields too. And some pig action over here as well. A really cute farmland build, uh, really happy with it. And then we also began work on the waterfront down here as well. And we'll continue to work on this area during Palavan's live streams. Uh, which will of course now be a little more frequent now that we're doing this full time. There's still lots of uh, action to bring over to Clawson, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with the vibe. It's looking, it's looking how I intended it to. Uh, it's looking quite cheap. And you know what else is cheap? As I am now an official partner of Instant Gaming, there are links down below which help support the channel. You guys can find some really cheap gaming codes for your platform of choice. So go ahead and check out the links if you want to pick up some cheap games and support the channel. It really does help me out. However, in today's episode, I want to head over to the other side of the outskirts of Palavan, uh, over to this little map boundary right here. Uh, so we are planning to have some riverside forestry action on the island here. And then also kind of place the castle monument up on the hill here. And then bring some more green cities action over here. But we haven't really talked about what's going to lie in this area. And kind of similar to what we have going on with Clawson, you know, this is kind of the edge of the map. We want some more smaller towns out here. I think we're going to make a little supporting forestry town. That's got maybe a little bit of tourism in here. And just kind of general nice rural vibes that again look out to that skyline way off in the distance, which I think will be will be appreciated. I think we've also got some uh, map burial ground spice happening here too. So we'll definitely leave this in and try and factor it into the town today. Then we've also got some nice layers of height going on. Uh, the highway is slightly elevated, so we'll come up with some nice little small on and off ramp system. And then bring a nice bridge over the river and then also factor in a ferry stop into this town as well. So, sounds like a plan. Let's start, shall we? So first of all, of course, the terrain is pretty insane um, over at this point. So let's come and grab our level terrain tool. And I think we'll set the height of the town here up until this little graveyard or burial ground, whatever you want to call it, right? And we'll just give it a bit of the old level terrain. And bring this up to the river as well. So kind of similar to what it does over this side, the river turns into some kind of like rapid action here as well. So we want to be careful with the terrain up against the river just so it doesn't look too insane. Okay, but we'll flatten ourselves out a nice area to work with today. Okay, and a sensible height for the ferry stop will probably be about here. And then what we'll do is we'll feed this into some kind of little riverside national road, which will feed back into the power station over there. So lots of action to get involved with today, I think. Okay. So let's also have a look at terraforming the highway here a little bit, just so we have a little more room to come up with an exit system. I think this will be okay. So we'll start with a couple of two-lane highways, and then we're going to start sinking these down in increments of 10. Bring these together. Okay, and then we'll give ourselves some room to develop something on the surface. So again, we'll use another interval of 10. And then we'll rise back up to the surface in another interval of 10 again. Okay. And that'll be all right. We'll also, let's double check the measurements here. So we're covering a stretch by 1200. We'll also mimic that stretch on this side as well. I think it was a nice symmetrical on an off ramp here. We'll also hook them back in as well. So we'll grab a little small road, which will upgrade into a highway road as well. Just kind of flow in the middle here, and this will be the entrance into the town. And then let's have a look at how we can bring off a couple of little slip lanes here. We'll line them up with the road guidelines first of all. And again, all this symmetry is going to give us lots of decoration opportunities. And then we we'll get a nice smooth 240 curve back into here. Then we can repeat the same thing on this side as well. Just double check that straight length that we're at, 300. This length, there we go. Nice and easy. And then a smooth 240 curve back in like that. Okay. Nice. 
continue to terraform a little more room for ourselves here. Okay. More as well. Bring this out, tie a little bit further. And then let's go for maybe a couple of these little slip ways, okay? Again, repeating that symmetry on all sides. Right from this one into here. And we know it's symmetrical here because we have the mimic tiles either side of that main road. That'd be nice. And then we can do the same on this point as well. And then what I will do is just upgrade this into a two-way highway. And then we'll upgrade this one into highway as well. And we might put some service stuff out here. I don't want to make this part of the map massively populated just because it's kind of on the outskirts, right? Kind of similar to Clawson. We just want a small outlying town, not vast amounts of population here. So we'll maybe put some service assets along here, some garbage processing and whatnot to serve this side of the map. So they have to travel a fairly long way from the city to get out here. So I guess that would make sense, right? Okay, I'm happy with this system here. Um, let's go ahead and get them hooked in, and then we'll start looking at the road frame for this little town. Okay, so our little high winds change is flowing now. We've got all our lane mathematics set up, which is nice. So we'll now start to bring some action down into this little land that we terraformed here. Go ahead and slope out still here. Soften it out so it's not quite as harsh. Okay, very nice. Grab ourselves a two-way highway again. And then let's come down with our freeform tool. And we'll snap to angle here. And then we'll get a nice straight run down. Again, I think we'll be okay. And just because that's not on the right side, draw that in from this side again, just so the street lights are all on the same side, okay? I think that'll be alright. Down. Double check our slope that's not too steep and gnarly. I think we'll be okay here. Okay. Come to row length too, so so we can see how far we're coming out today. And let's come out by 18 initially. And we had ourselves a small roundabout. Upgrade this into highway roads too. Okay, and then we have this little kind of patch of land here that comes with the map that isn't massively terraformed amazingly at the minute. Go ahead and flatten this out a touch. And then that's fantastic. Just terraform is that now, and then we can have this as another entrance into our forestry area. We're working on a few episodes time as well. That's going to give us quite a dramatic bridge over the river here. Might be a little high, but I think it'll be okay. Can always work on it afterwards, right? Uh, and then there'll be nothing this side of the town. Now this is the edge of the map, so we'll just kind of expand the natural parliament forest that's out here, and then we can start to work on our little village here. Again, I want to keep everyone high speed as they kind of stick to these road networks. Then we'll come down by another distance of 20 tiles here. And maybe another 20 just for good measure. And then we can use this as kind of the spine of today's build, right? Okay, so running with our road guidelines on, I want to start developing some kind of main street infrastructure. Again, I'm going to try and stay away from the medium roads. We're going to be mainly using kind of our smaller roads here today. With our road guideline on, let's maybe come out from the 40 marker. Then again, very similar, remembering kind of our design for this area. Um, maybe have a little a little slip road here too. But it's kind of mimicking what's happening over the interchange, right? Just on a smaller, a more condensed layer. And then also do the same on this side as well. Okay. So as this is our main street, see we're out by uh, 40 tiles here out by a touch more as well. Then we'll start to develop some kind of main town center action and designs over here. We'll also feed our two-way highway here uh, kind of out of town and remember to hook this into some kind of national road which will feed back into the power plant. Just leave that there as a reminder that I'll kind of do that during the detail and time lapse today. And then we'll also bring a power line along here too, which of course will be tidied up, but just so we have power so we can start the zone here. Okay. So let's start looking at some commercial assets. Here we go for a couple of different size zonings here. I don't want lots of back-to-back -back stuff either. Keep it all 
a fairly tight let some of these develop and save some spaces of course we go for another four by three here okay now let's grab ourselves have a normal road then we're going to bring this down by 10 and we'll start to cluster some of our service assets around here too go ahead and introduce police station stuff fire station as well and i think the uh European police station's kind of got a more oldie world vibe about it, so we'll probably run with this one, I think. Okay. And likewise with the police station as well. Let's also do that one. Have these next to each other. And then we can bring a road behind. We go for probably about there. I think that'll be okay. And then we'll also grab a med clinic as well. How are we feeling about that? Okay, let's make sure that our power is reaching the area. Again, I'm very specific with what assets are coming in. We will allow these to level up, if not, maybe sweep through with a little bit of plot of growables and kind of refine what assets are coming in. Yeah, I definitely don't want you here either, or tidy that up onto. I don't want any corner assets on there. Squeeze in some more assets too. Grab 4x4 four four for there. Okay, and then a nice big bank of commercial alongside and a cluster of service assets here. Here we can actually squeeze in one of the park assets here. I think we'll maybe go for the tennis court. I'm aware we lose our pathways, but that's fine. We can actually maybe just leave them in just to fill them up with kind of dirt spaces, okay? Of course, they won't be functional, but. All these little hedges actually working together nicely. I think I'm fairly happy with that. Okay, yeah, keep allowing all this commercial to grow. Kind of see what comes in. So yeah, kind of these larger central hotel assets isn't particularly what we're after today, but we can always refine with plot the growables, right? And then I also want a district over this area. Um, I think we're going to go with the European Suburbia uh, content creator pack. Because this is just going to let us have a little more control over how this suburb works. Of course, if you guys want to name this suburb, uh, well, I guess Outer Line Town is the official official name, right? Um, feel free to throw it in the comments below. And uh, we'll definitely remember to name this on the live stream. Okay, so now let's start to bring some roads. Again, I think we'll use the two lane road with grass for the kind of Outer Line suburb stuff. And remembering to kind of preserve this little burial ground that's happening here. Okay, and we'll also bring it out. Make sure that we're sticking to kind of increments of 10 here, actually. Okay, maybe bring it at an angle like that. And then likewise, we'll just keep running in little increments of 10. We can also bring one parallel here too. And what we'll do is shave the tile off of this one. It allows us to bring through some more path decoration. All of our favorite themes, okay? And then we'll bring this up in an interval of five. And then the same, this one again as well. I'm off the road guideline while there's a lot of them. And then we'll just run little streets out like this. Let's start to factor in what kind of houses are going to appear here, okay? And I think I'm going to stick to very rigid 4x4 four four spaces. Kind of see what assets we get coming in. We use some different repeated patterns today. And let's go for one more here. Now, shave that one off and run it this side instead. Allows us to bring some pathways around the burial ground, almost as if it's like a little, not attraction, but just there, right? <laughs> I'm not sure what the official term is. Okay, let's see what we're getting in. These guys, of course, will level up and kind of change their appearance, but just these kind of smaller houses, right? This is really what we're after today. Nothing too big. 
Rural really is just one of my favourite styles to build in. It's just something about it. Just fills me with joy. <laughs> it really does. Okay. Yeah, so these guys will level up, of course. Uh, and then let's have a look at some uh, more path palettes again, I think, because we're running with that rural vibe. We will stick with the uh, vanilla dirt path for the most of it. Then we can surround your ground now, at least. Uh, point, okay. And then we'll bring maybe a pathway either side. And I think Nature Reserve Fence is going to be the go to for this area, isn't it? Okay. Grab some of our. Our larger beech trees and begin to fill out some of this green belt with it. Also decorate the edge of the burial ground with a little beaded beach spice maybe as well. Okay, and then let's flash out with some kind of smaller bushes and whatnot. And just see what kind of things we get developing here. I don't think that's looking too bad already, I think. It's okay. Got out some of these other zoning squares now as well. Uh, let's grab another one here. Again, just remembering our palette for the area today. We'll bring another road through here. And then also down to this point as well. We'll leave it there and then feed it through all of these spaces here as well. Okay, and I guess it would make sense to have another little batch of commercial on the corner. I still wonder if we can squeeze in a post office here. Yes, we can. Perfect. Very nice. Although, would we rather have it orientated the other way? I think we would, just because of the corner asset. No. Lovely little corner design is the post office. And we'll just reform our path network. Flow around it a little easier, okay? I already see some kind of small town developing. Really happy with how that little burial ground looks as well. That's a really nice kind of thing to have focused around our little suburban patterns here. Just continuing to expand our little suburban road network here. And we'll just terraform a touch more again, just so we're not getting that slight weird elevation. We've also severed the connection here um, on the road. Just allows us to use a little more walking path designs, of course. And then we're going to start introducing a very solid, rigid 4x4 pattern for our residentials here. And then we'll keep them heated on either side. And very specific zoning allows for a much neater suburb. And then we'll keep this running here as well. And we'll also do the same thing on this side too. And again, of course, we got some like, low worker demands right now, but residences will soon be coming in. We also, keep fleshing out our green belt around this area too. Just come off the road guideline. Okay. And then, what we'll do actually maybe save this for a little bit of suburban decoration. And then we'll bring this behind. And just allow it to hook into a couple of places on the main street. And lots of walk abilities. Everything we like in Palamon, even though we're 50 episodes deep now. Our palettes and themes remain the same. Yeah, it's this kind of commercial asset I'm not massively keen on. Probably with the ice cream parlour. Then that'll be okay down here. Again with that one as well. Okay, this is filled up nicely already. Let's go ahead and bulk fill in the rest. There we go. And then I guess we can have some kind of elevated pathway and that's going to flow over the highway here because they won't be able to walk on this road, which is fine. Got some nice elevated action going on. And this is all flowing out now. Pop our game on three speed for once. Different shapes and sizes going here too. And just discussing that detail and design. We're working with nature reserve fence and beech trees here. So let's come out of our grid. I should know it's stay in the grid. Run some nature reserve fence along. Please. I'll maybe grab just four of these beaches in a repeated pattern. Either side of the fence. Which again, I'm going to give a nice 
real lush suburban design, right? Especially with the grass roads. These hedges that are backing onto the fences as well now. Let's see a real nice suburban pattern develop here. Okay, so I'll uh, carry on zoning out here. Let's go ahead and throw in our road guideline again. Then we'll come down to this way. Again, just keep into our very specific kind of patterns and sets. Just carry on fleshing out with 4x4s. So as we start to move on to the other side of the kind of spinal highway road here, I think we'll start decorating out our little kind of triangles with park fence. Keep these each corner. Okay, and then I think maybe a different kind of tree. I think a U would work tremendously in these spaces. Okay. Just something like that. Just kind of accentuates the entrance to the town a little bit. Of course, the power lines, we can actually remove these a little bit now. Uh, sink them down towards the other end. Take them away. Kind of gives us an idea of what this will look like, okay? Or something like that. A little slip rail to get in some use now, too. We're coming through. Also, some people pick up the pathways as well. Well, there was a minute ago. <laughs> of course, when I'm trying to show it, there isn't. Yeah, of course, lots of trees to come through here as well. Uh, yeah, very happy with it so far. It's very nice and rural. It's everything we're a fan of, right? Start to flesh out this side as well. So we've got some riverside opportunities here. Come into our terraforming and give ourselves a little more breathing room. Also factoring a ferry stop here today as well. Of course, let's grab the ferry stop itself. And I guess we'll just throw it there for right now, okay? And then we'll also line this up. This road as well, just come on to every, come on to all snapping. That's gonna line up perfectly, that's exactly what we want. And we can have this continue down this too. Making sure we're not generating too much terrain jankiness when we're working this close to the riverbank, but I think we're okay. Okay, very nice. Again, we'll allow our suburban pattern to continue on that side too. And bring it up to a point and then we'll and continue to work with this little very basic rigid design that we have going on. Okay. Of course, these guys are going to need education. So let's throw down a high school and I think I'm going to run with the American one. It's going to be nice. Not going to generate too much of a a school park around that. Um, you know, it's a small town. I can't imagine how vast amounts of car parks. Also grab ourselves a public library, maybe. Try and formulate something along the river. Let's actually bring this onto its own road. Again, we could. I guess we could formulate this off the front of the ferry stop. And it will centralise. Yes, please. Very nice indeed. Okay, almost like a, a small town centre design, right? Nothing nothing too major. We're out here by 500. Repeat that on that side as well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go and get the ferries hooked in just so we can see some kind of public transport action. And then we'll continue to flesh out this side of the riverside town. We've got a ferry line hooked in there. There's a little bit of backup. Maybe um, reduce the number down to five or so. But this just hooks straight back into the ferry terminal over by the downtown. These guys are going to be stopping on this platform here, which has already got a fair few people waiting for it. I've just elevated the bridge here over the ferry line so people can continue to walk back into. Uh, yeah. Everyone's hooked in. Lots of public transport keeping people moving, of course. Everything that we like in Palavan. Uh, we're still getting high worker demand over here, so we definitely need to keep expanding. Our little suburban pattern, so let's keep that going. Keep running with our little 4 by 4s here. Maybe throw in a nice little transitional uh, small park. Of course, one where we can expand out with the, the pathways from it. Come back to our road length snapping. Grab our smaller roads. And we'll have a road again. Do we want to box in the 
that we will keep the library boxed in. And because it has that concrete texture around it, leaving it unboxed kind of looks a little odd. I think that'll be okay. We've got some nice designs to do out here as well, of course. And then we'll keep our main road design here going. Bring this out on a corner. Let's come to the road guideline. And then we'll snap to that one about there. And I think we'll also keep this one going too. At least up until the point. So we can get some more population into this area. I'm off the road guard line for this section. Have some stuff here. What we might do is turn this waterfront into a green cities district. Just kind of see, right? Use some of the smaller green cities assets to decorate today. And then we'll grab our pathways again. Let's give everyone walkable. Yeah, the power's sinking through there now. Fantastic. Very nice indeed. Let's keep our little a walkable suburb going here. We also need an elementary school as well. Let's have a look which one we want to use. Possibly the community school. And squeeze that into that block there. Is that going to work though? Is that what we want? I think I would rather have it facing the waterfront, in which case we will amend the road network slightly. Let's bring this one down instead. We'll have this in the corner. Yeah, okay, I think that'll be a little better. I'll bring this one down. Again, I would rather stuff be facing the water, so we'll allow that one to regrow. All these guys are behaving themselves. Okay. Double checking our waterfront vibes. It won't come through with keys here today. We'll leave it quite overgrown. Get some rocks in too. Not a huge lover of you. Crunch time. Big bite. Whatever. We'll, we'll run with it for right now. Okay guys. I want to carry on fleshing out a little 4x4 pattern here. Getting some more Suburbans growing. And then we'll come back and see what we're looking like for some detail in action towards the time lapse end. Okay, guys, so I'm fairly happy with how this is looking so far. There is, of course, lots of detail to do. We can see the central spine is looking kind of empty. Also, going to bring the kind of national road, detail this up along the riverbank and feed it into the power station. And then just some other kind of general bits and pieces and detailing. Bring the kind of forest that's in this area. Uh, around the town just to help blend it in a little bit more but as a kind of a general small outlying town design a nice view to that skyline as well kind of similar to how we close in right so you can kind of see you know over here it's just looks out to that real distant metropolis view it's kind of what we want to happen over here as well fairly happy with it with a small outlying town the european suburbia residentials work tremendously well uh, yeah, real big fan of it, real big fan. Hope you guys are as well. Otherwise, let's do this hello, and I'll be back in a minute.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video today, a like below is always appreciated. Thank you so much. If you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Really nice rural build today. Uh, big fan of this kind of spinal highway that runs through the middle of the town. And we now have an elevated walking path over that road as well. Also added in a recycling centre because these guys were getting a ton of garbage pile up. So it looks like we definitely need to build some kind of service station on the opposite side of the highway interchange. Otherwise, really happy with it. Cute build. Uh, thanks for all support as well going full time. You guys were very, very just amazing <laughs> with uh, the kind words and well wishes uh, after that news over the weekend. And I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully this is a nice start of full time egg, if you like, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Hang around for the rest of the outro touch. You guys wouldn't have seen all the detailing. And I'm sure this place should have a wonderful nighttime view over to that distant metropolis over there at the top of the screen. But otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.